Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on importing data from ZeroThePy into Ami Broker in hopefully under 20 seconds. So let's see. Uh, I have ZeroThePy open here. <clears throat> to do this, we're going to need uh, the charts. So I have Nifty 50, the index loaded here. I, uh, you go here on create new chart, select the 30 minutes, 120 days, click OK and load a chart. I already have it loaded here. So it looks like this. Now to export the data for this, you just go on chart here, click on export chart to Excel. And there you go. So the nifty 50.csv, the file name is the same as the symbol name. Uh, this will go and get saved uh, on in your zero the installation. So uh, in my case, it's in C drive, uh, zero the Pi exported and there you see the nifty50.csv file. Uh, now if you try to import this directly into Ami Broker, it's going to cause some problems because Ami Broker wants the date and the time column separate. Here it is in the same and it wants time in the 24 hour format. So you can see, uh, let me show you. So uh, if you go to a file, import wizard, pick files, uh, nifty50.csv, okay. Here, uh, we don't have a tick name anywhere in this. So what uh, iMbroker does is if you don't give a tick name, it will use the file name of the CSV file as the symbol name. So here, let's say DMY, uh, we have open, high, low, close, volume, and skip. We don't want the first line here, so we're going to skip the first line. So next, uh, so what you can do here is save these settings into a profile. I'm not going to do it right now, just want to show you. Finish, and let's go to symbols, and you have your symbol here. Double click, and it loads the price chart. And as you can see, the data is not the finest because, uh, as I said, the time format is not what Angular Broker accepts. So let's delete this. So we have a problem that we need to solve and we will solve it using Python. I'm not going to walk you through the code writing process. It's very simple. So I'm just going to walk you through. I'm just going to show you the code and this is what it is. This will be available with this video. You can copy it and use it. So just a quick uh, overview. Uh, I'm going to use the pandas uh, library to manipulate the data the time and the columns uh, os because we want to refer to the file uh, like this you can just google it and how it works so you just store it here in this line we're reading the csv file into this data frame df here what we're going to do is uh, convert this this is saved as a string uh, this will be saved as a uh, date time object so that we can then manipulate the date and time separately so it is done by this by pt dot two underscore date time and we mentioned the format here uh, is date slash month slash two digit year space uh, 12 hour format r slash um, colon minute colon second colon am pm so uh, these are the flags for it you can get them from uh, the reference for this is available on a website called strftime.org. Uh, now we need to create a time column as well. So we're going to take time, take the date and apply this function. So we take the, take this and then just use the hour and minute here in a 24 hour format. Similarly, we can drop the time since we have taken it out. We can in the date, we just have the date. So year, month and day here. We, uh, this is just some housekeeping. So to keep the data frame clean, we're going to make the date, the index. So leftmost column and rename the columns to open, high, low, close volume and time. And then finally export it as a CSV file. So it's going to save it on the desktop since my Python file is on the desktop. 
that's it that's all it does and to uh, instead of opening this and then running the code what i've done is created a batch file called run import.bat so you can do it simply by saying new text file and then just calling it something dot bat okay and here all it does is it runs a command line uh, any command prompt command so python import py all it will do is run this python script for me so here uh, we already exported this it's saved uh, in the exported folder so now all i need to do is run this batch file which will run my python script so double click and it's run it and here comes the csv file this is edited so i'll show you the difference zero tha pi exported this is the original on your left this is the edited on your right so as you can see the difference uh, we've cleaned this up into a neat uh, date column and a separate time column and the time is in 24 hour formats now this is what we can import so go to ami broker import wizard pick file desktop Uh, this is ymd format open high low close volume and finally time this will be undefined we're going to skip this again so one and that's it so say next Yes, you can save this. Uh, I already have it saved as pi, and I'm going to use only CSV files, so pi dot format. So every time, next time, I'll show you how it works, and then click finish, and there you go. So this is on a daily, and you can see the 30 minute just as it is over here. Okay, uh, so I already have those formats saved, so. Let's delete this. So every time you don't have to do the go through the import wizard, you can simply do a import ASCII, and the profile is saved. So it's here by default. Just select desktop, double click, and there you go. Symbols. So that's it. In fact, uh, if you count, let's count the clicks here. Uh, And every time you import it's going to overwrite this so if you are uh, updating it say every half an hour and every hour during uh, live market hours it's just going to uh, add bars to this over here so it's really not a problem very robust okay so uh, one click two clicks three clicks Four clicks, five clicks, six clicks, and there you go. In six clicks, I think under 15 seconds, you can get data from Pi to Ami Broker. That's it, uh, folks. I hope this is helpful. Uh, thank you for your time.